Hello and welcome to Virtue of Tech. Um, today's video is going to be a bit different. Um, it's a very frustrating um, video on my experience dealing with a brand called Neatac. Um, they are a Chinese based um, NVMe storage um, manufacturer. So I picked these ones up back in November and I probably received them in December from um, AliExpress. Um, but this was an AliExpress choice store and the store was also the Neatac official store as well. So, these aren't fake, um, these are real drives, genuine drives, straight from the manufacturer. And I also confirmed this by speaking to AliExpress as well, and they told me the same thing, that th these are not fake drives, these are real drives. And I picked up three of them. Um, I picked these up for, you know, for my YouTube channel, for, you know, for this business that I'm trying to get up and going over here, just for storing all my video files and my media. I picked up a two terabyte drive, a four terabyte drive and then another two terabyte drive. So four drives in total. Um, these are Gen 4 NVMe drives that are supposed to give you speeds upwards of 6,000 megabytes per second reads and writes. And would you believe me if I tell you that I am getting about three to four megabytes per second writes when transferring video files onto these drives? Three to four megabytes. Um, I have another drive from, um, I think, Kingston, and this one is easily getting speeds of about 2,000 megabytes per second writes. And the, but when I'm trying to transfer the same file onto this, three to four megabytes, sometimes five megabytes. And um, so first drive that I installed was the um, four terabyte drive. Um, I installed this into a 16 core Ryzen um, 7000 series, um, I think 78. 7950 X3D um, base system, um, four terabyte drive, installed it internally into the Gen 4 NVMe slot and thought, okay, this works, I'm good to go. And yeah, I tried transferring a video over and I was like, what is this? Why am I getting five, six megabytes, three, four megabytes? What's going on over here? Um, I wasn't sure. Um, so I cancelled it, tried again, cancelled it, tried again, tried restarting the system. I also tried updating the drivers. Um, I downloaded the NeTac software thinking, I don't know, maybe there's a driver issue with this. And nothing was working. It was so unusable, unusably slow. At that point, I thought, okay, maybe this drive is just faulty. Um, I did pick up two more as well. So let me just switch it out. And then the two terabyte one is also the same. And then the other two terabyte one is also the same. Basically unusable. At that point, I thought, okay, let me just run a benchmark. And I did run the um, Blackmagic and disk speed test. And it practically failed everything. It failed the 4K test, 4K Apple ProRes, 4K, you know, AV1 or H2, H.264, H.265. And then anything above that, it just failed. Um, at Gen 4 speeds, I think it also failed the 1080p Apple ProRes as well for writes. Um, it failed everything. And this is where, you know, one of the weird things that I did start to notice on this drive, the read speeds are fine. Um, so, when I was doing a sequential test with Q1T1, um, read speeds in Gen 4 speed was about almost 3000 megabytes per second, write speeds, 3.56 megabytes per second. And all, all three of these drives, like I said, they are basically the same. And then in Crystal Desk Mark as well, pretty much the same. It failed everything across the board. Read speed, 4,850 megabytes per second. And that's averaged out, of course. But then the write speeds, 21.4 megabytes. And unusable, un absolutely unusable for ProRes and 4K. ProRes 4K write speed, again, from the Crystal Desk uh, Mark bench, um, and this was from the uh, Blackmagic disk speed test was about five megabytes per second. This is what I was getting in real world performance as well when I was trying to transfer my Apple ProRes files. And it's not just video files, it is just anything. Um, so, you know, like I said, I've also got a mini PC Ryzen based as well. So I, I thought, I don't know, maybe try it in this system. Um, it took about 40 minutes just to install Windows, um, Windows 11 onto um, the two terabyte drive. So this was again, another drive, about 40 minutes just to install Windows because of how slow the write speed is. I've also got a um, USB 4 NVMe enclosure. Um, yeah, so this has speeds of up to 3000 megabytes per second, and um, it's a Thunderbolt NVMe enclosure. And same thing here. At first, I thought this was faulty, and that's when I first noticed this actually, And but no, 
it wasn't this because I tried this with another drive with two other drives and this worked really well but when it came to these drives it just it just messed up. Um, I also had a Lexa drive as well um, this is another NVMe enclosure but this is only 10 gigabit per second and this is where I noticed something really really strange and I also verified this on my system as well. If you're running this at gen 3 speeds um, it gets a little bit faster again not much but it does get a little bit faster. So when running this at Gen 3 speeds, um, so you can go into a BIOS, or even if you're using an external um, NVMe enclosure that supports you know, a lower protocol, lower speeds. But on my BIOS, when I set it to run at Gen 3 speeds, then of course the read and um, read speeds were affected by this as well because of bandwidth limitations. But the write speed on Crystal Disk Mark basically went up from about five megabytes to about eight megabytes. And the write speed in Blackmagic disk speed test also went up for about 21 megabytes to about 26 megabytes. That's not a big difference and it's still effectively broken. Fails all the tests. All three of them are the same, by the way. But when I went down to Gen 2 speeds, then the write speed um, in Blackmagic and the disk speed test went shot all the way up to 1,483 megabytes per second average. And on Crystal Disk Mark as well, um, you know, same test again it went up to about 422 megabytes per second. So at Gen 2 speed, the drive is, again, very, very slow, but it finally becomes usable. Um, I've never seen something like that um, before. Um, I will have screenshots of this down below. And I, there is also a written um, review. Um, you'll find that in the comments down below as well if you do want to see this um, in more detail. But um, at this point, I was convinced that these are running the latest firmware there has to be something faulty with these drives, but because I purchased these back in um, November from AliExpress, but I didn't get around to using them until March, um, I was beyond that 90 day return um, policy that AliExpress have, but I thought, let me just contact them anyways. Um, so far, um, it's been like a whole month now. Wasn't really sure what AliExpress was gonna do. Um, at the moment, um, the first um, appeal that I, or the first um, request that I reached out when I um, reached out to contact them was they'll see what they can do and they rejected it saying you know not clear not enough information I don't know so that's when I wrote this um, written um, review that you can find on our website I then sent them this and I'm still waiting to hear back from them it's been like another two weeks or so um, but I also contacted NeTAC as well and I thought maybe NeTAC can help out with this you know I've got three drives are they absolute garbage is your company garbage or is there something wrong with these drives? I gave them the benefit of the doubt and thought these, as weird as it sounds, all three of these drives just have, has to be faulty. I've tested it on a PS5, does not work, it is super slow. Tested it on a mini PC, does not work, it is super slow. Set us, tested it on an entirely separate 16 core Ryzen 7000 series computer, again, it is super slow, it does not work. Tested it on a portable um, you know, NVMe enclosure, super, super slow, does not really work, it is unusable. Something's going on here, and I've got three drives that are all performing like this. You know, maybe they have some serious quality control issues, I don't know. I contacted them, and they were of absolutely zero help. Um, so, first thing they told me was the drives are overheating, you've done something wrong. Um, I sent them screenshots as well, and I think in the screenshots, the drive was at about 53, 54 degrees Celsius. Um, so, yeah, one of the things about these drives is compared to other drives, they do get a bit warmer, even when they're doing nothing. They just seem to just warm up a bit, a bit more than you would expect compared to some of the other brands out there. But regardless, 53, 54 degrees is not overheating. Um, you know, they do still have, you know, they do still have the official heatsink installed and fitted. So, you know, these are genuine drives with the heatsink installed and fitted. And um, yeah, they tell me that they're overheating, I'm doing something wrong. I try explaining to them that, look, I ain't removed the, um, the heat sink that came with it. And um, I, don't, I don't think it's overheating. Take a look again. Then they start blaming me saying that, you know, because I explained to them how they run a bit quicker if you're running in Gen 2 speeds. And then they say there's something wrong with your interface. I, I find it hard. So yeah, my mini PC, um, I tested it with um, another Micron NVMe drive and it works fine over 5,000 megabytes per second reads and writes, 
works absolutely fine. Same as my computer, same as my PlayStation 4, same as this NVMe enclosure. All my other devices, if I put in a Micron or a, um, or a Kingston NVMe drive Gen 4, they work really, really well, super hyper speed. But when I put in these NETAC drives, basically just broken. It's unusable, slower than USB sticks, slower than NV, um, slower than USB sticks and SD card memory sticks. I, I don't see how this is usable for anyone. And according to NETAC, there's, you know, they stopped responding to me. And it's pretty frustrating because, you know, I need more storage and, you know, cause I'm trying to record videos and edit videos and, um, I've waited more than a month before making this video, just hoping that I can come up with some good news or offer you some sort of resolution that, look, NETAC reached out. They told me that I can RMA it. They'll send me a new one, send this back to them, but absolutely nothing. And AliExpress, I don't really know. Um, still waiting. Did ask for an update and they said that they're still waiting for it to get like processed, I guess. And um, yeah, so, yeah, um, I, I don't know. Are these drives that terrible? Um, or is NETAC's quality control so bad that I received three drives that are, you know, are faulty? Or am I just doing something wrong? I don't know. Yeah, um, if, if anyone has any information, if anyone thinks that I'm doing something wrong, then do let me know because I would love to have these drives working so I can start editing videos and start storing all my media. Um, I'm not even sure what to do with these since um, NETAC, um, despite offering warranty, they're not, they're not doing anything basically. They seem to think the problem is with four or four, five of my computers and somehow with me and I, I don't know. So um, yeah, I'm still waiting on AliExpress. Maybe they would help out. Maybe they would offer me a refund on this, but, um, but yeah. Um, I would love for someone, you know, for the YouTube community, just to look at my benchmarks, look at my test, my reference drive as well, and just let me know, am I doing something wrong or is NETAG like just a terrible, terrible brand that you should just stay far away from? And, you know, if, especially if you want to avoid a situation like this where there's a faulty drive and NETAG is like, it's your fault. You know, it's a computer's fault. And then just stop replying to you. But yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And um, yeah, please do comment down below if there's anything you, if the, if you have anything to say, or if you think you, there's something you can say that might actually help me out, or if you have something that um, you know that I could try, basically. Because yeah, the, the these drives are just absolute garbage, absolute garbage.